If you don't know, now you're going to know. If you live under a rock for the past couple of days, what they have to tell you? Vibes cartel, retrial, hearing. Yes, I said the word hearing, not trial. A trial is when you are determining whether somebody is innocent or guilty. A hearing is when you accept submissions, summations, information about a possible trial. Get to me and say, I try to find out some information and see what is possible and what is not. So this is a hearing. This is not to establish guilt or innocence. Just to recap, the Privy Council remitted the case to the Court of Appeal in Jamaica so that they could decide if there should be a retrial or there should be an acquittal. An acquittal means charges drop. Person is no longer accused. Now when they are day four and the prosecution give them arguments and people may I tell you it was a rough day, rough day like sandpaper in the court for the prosecution. Day one, day two, day three, John Clark, Isaac Buchanan laid down the foundation for why there should not be a retrial. Of course, those are the lies representing Vibes Cartel and his co-accused. In come day four, where the prosecution have to make some talk and some solid talk. Because even at the end of day three, we could see that the judges had questions for the prosecution as it relates to the constitutional rights that were breached. As it, really, as it relates to the fairness of a possible retrial. All of these things, them did have to forward and deal with. And to me, them dropped the ball. Me I'm going to hear some. By the way, before I'm going to hear some, yo, you like the video yet, bro? You like the video yet, my sister? If you rate Brenda channel, you rate all way I deal with some. I'm going to like the channel. Please, me give you three seconds. One, two, three. Give thanks and praise. You get the message? Yeah, man. So watch this now. Make we hear what go on. The acting director of public prosecutions had barely got to her feet when it became clear Thursday would be no easy day in the Court of Appeal. Claudette Thompson told the justices of the seriousness of the crime of murder and demanded an order for a retrial. Ms. Thompson pointed out that the crime was allegedly committed over an illegal gun and that the victim's body had never been found. The senior prosecutor maintained that justice must be done both ways. But Justice MacDonald Bishop wanted to know the exact cost of justice in the cartel matter. The senior jurist repeatedly pressed the prosecution as to whether the expense to the state to mount a retrial was a burden Jamaica would be prepared to bear. People, you hear what the reporter say? She barely stand up on her foot and attack. And as she started, I said, justice have to go both ways, which you know, this is what the court is here for. The first question where the judge asks her is, the cost of justice, is the nation prepared to pay for this? How feasible is this trial going to be as it relates to cost for the nation? Because people, believe it or not, it's not free. Money have to go used by the state and by the appellants. The acting DPP responded that the state would just have to foot the bill. Clearly unconvinced, Justice MacDonald Bishop responded, quote, that's a novel interpretation of that factor, but I leave it alone, end quote. The judge pressed on, quote, the law is really if one case is going to deplete our resources, you know, time, money, human. That's what the case law says. We have to consider do we really put our economy through that? End quote. People, there you have it. One of the key and major concerns where the judge them have is this might deplete the resources of the country in terms of time, in terms of resources, in terms of human resources. So, I really feel like the way she answer, them just have to foot the bill. 
she was unprepared and it's like she never think that necessary in the conversation yes she approached it from the standpoint of said justice is justice and we should leave no stone unturned or any bank unbroken i guess or any reserve untouched to make sure that justice is handed down and she said justice must go both ways but here we go down my friend there's a cost and it has to be considered and that's what i think the judge really i said i mean i think yeah, yeah you have a simplistic view and a simplistic answer though but make we hear the rest the acting dpp responded quote i don't know if we can put a fixed cost to justice end quote justice mcdonald bishop shot back that's a requirement of the law end quote no more you take note of the conversation where it take place right there so she, I said, yo, I'm mean, not think you can really put a cast for justice still, you know. And the judge, I said, yes, you can. That is a part of the consideration and thing. So, you see, right there, so, I think the prosecution lose points and lose grounds. Based upon where the judge I look for and where the prosecution or the crown has not considered in this whole situation. Eventually urged the acting DPP to use her time wisely, conceding that she was not persuading the judges on the point of cost, the senior prosecutor responded, quote, "Very well, my lady, I will not belabor the point." End quote. But she maintained that murder must be treated with seriousness. She told the court not to forget the murder, why it was done, and what happened after. The senior prosecutor did not fare much better when the matter of the timeline for a retrial was raised. Justice MacDonald Bishop pressed the prosecutor as to whether she agrees that a retrial date is uncertain. Yes, my lady, responded the acting DPP. The prosecutor could only offer 2025 as her best estimate of a timeline for Cartel to be retried. Justice MacDonald. All right, so this is another issue now. The time. If it is that we grant a retrial, how swiftly, how quickly can this process start? And finish because this is a concern for the court as well. Because when you talk about the constitutional rights of a person that has been charged, time it must be done in a timely manner as well. And that is one of the major considerations that has been on the judge them mind from the whole thing. Because the man them incarcerated now, the appeal process are gone, and all now the man them still like them can't get no fix nothing. You get what I say? And this is where the judge have to say in response because she said the earliest date would be next year, January to about the early part of 2025. Make we hear the rest. Arnold Bishop declared that the Vibes Cartel case has placed a microscope on what she described as systemic problems in Jamaica's judicial system. She says those problems may come to, quote, bite us somewhere along the way, end quote. When you have a judge in the middle of a ear in a say this, it speaks volumes against the court system, the crown, and what the prosecution has done. The overall system. It sounds like she has said there are a lot of failures, there are a lot of problems that needs to be fixed. And at the vibes cartel case put a microscope on it. You see, because of the magnitude of the person. The superstar that Vibes Cartel is, all of the crack, I know, so the, the crack them did a long time, you know. More and people get this, you know. That's why sometimes we say, yo, them not like cartel. And, but it's not just a matter of them not like cartel. You can, that up for debate, but me can tell you this. Whether cartel or the average man, the justice system needs a lot of reform and needs a lot of help. Whether car, it's just a cartel, Put a microscope on it. So you are gonna see it with cartel and say, yo, I because a cartel, no, it did it before, but cartel magnify it. Cartel bring more awareness to it. But that no mean it never did it before. But because of the magnitude, the size of the case, and the persons involved, namely vibes cartel, it show more globally and locally. McQueer there is. Justice MacDonald Bishop also warned the prosecution that the Court of Appeal would not be sending the case back for a retrial unless the state can prove it has all its witnesses. 
Senior Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions, Jeremy Taylor, who was the lead prosecutor in the original trial, has submitted an affidavit swearing that most of the original witnesses are available. But Justice MacDonald Bishop pointed out that there was no evidence that Mr. Taylor had spoken to any of the witnesses, nor was it clear that he had been in touch with all of them. The justice pointed out that simply providing a list of witnesses to the court by itself doesn't cut it. We can't send a case when we know that you're running down witness over there, said Justice MacDonald. So on a hear for yourself, he that has ears to ear, let him hear. By the way, they like the video. So we see how much things, how much concerns, how much issues the judge them have. I even though now hear Bishop MacDonald, it's not one person, it's a tribunal, it's three of them. One, the timing for the retrial. How quick we can get the retrial going. You get what I say? Two, the witnesses. She has said, only half you have all of the witnesses. And she has said, a piece of paper there where you bring come. With a bag of people name on there and probably them number and probably them address. She said that alone can't cut it, you know. You need to bring some proof that them witness the willing to come back and testify back in the case. And if you can't provide concrete proof that them willing to do that, probably, probably him should bring like say sworn statements from them say them are going, them are going to testify. You, you get what I say? So if a 20 people show 20 statements and say, I am willing to partake in our participate in the retrial, he'll never do that. He'll just bring a list with, with 10 people, 20 people and say, Miss, um, see the people that can't work, my boss. That can't work. And right now, that the judge has said, that can't work. The next key point, again, to is the publicity. The judge expressed that she had issues with the fact that there wasn't more done to prevent Wally the information than them were go out there in terms of images, in terms of voice note. She has said more should have done. Remember when I time nationwide have the message them I play up on radio, you know. And other news agents, you know, so tell them in a preach on YouTube, you know. These are key things that should have been shielded from the media from the population when you seek a retrial when you seek forget a fear and bias jury so you see how much key points there so and to me the prosecution never do a good job today based on the judge response them the judge was not satisfied with the presentation of the prosecution that much me get from all of the the relevant authorities, be they nationwide, Jamaica Observer, Jamaica Cleaner. She not satisfied. And if she not satisfied, that means she a lean in favor of Vibes Cartel and his co accused Man, I have nothing else to say now. Leave it down in the comment section and let me know where you feel I'm out.